Does anyone on salary routinely work less than 40 hours a week? I'm 45, fortunate enough that nearly every job I've ever had was corporate office type work, and I've always seen the same two things hourly employees scrambling for extra hours, and salaried people trying to work fewer than 40. I've never seen the latter. Have you seen or done it? Define work. I'm online and available for the required 40 hours. I'm salaried, and while I'm supposed to work 40 hours, I easily work way less. I'm just lazy, taking extra long lunches, long breaks, coming in late and leaving early. Yes. I work 37.5 hours a week, 8 hours days with an unpaid 30 minutes lunch. Caveat I'm in a union. Yep, union negotiated rostered hours times. So we work 8 hours and get paid 8 hours. If we finish our work earlier, we get paid 8 hours. I'm contracted for 40 hours per week. I only work around 22 hours. I never do overtime. I'm 44 and life is good. I've been doing 60-65 hours a week, I'm paid for 40. Broken down my pay drops from 31.25 to 1920 an hour. I've got 4-6 weeks left on this project and I'm asking for a raise. If I don't get it then I'll hand in my 5 minute notice. I'm 31, salaried, and have an incredibly flexible work schedule as my work is all project based. My boss is a family man and understands the dichotomy of work-life balance. Best job I've ever had. I'm so confused by this post. You say I've always seen the same two things and then I've never seen the latter. Have you seen IT or haven't you? Officially I'm supposed to work 40 hours per week but unofficially I don't. My job is quality assurance, I review the work that other people do to make sure they're following procedure. I can't start my work until they've completed their work, so a lot of my time is spent waiting. And once I get started, it doesn't take me a lot of time to do my reviews. X200B. Working from home has been great for me. While I'm waiting, I can watch TV or browse Reddit. I used to work like 50-60. Now I just leave and count my one hour lunch break as a working hour. 8 hours and then I'm out, always. Otherwise they'll just continue to abuse you and expect you to keep working at the same rate. There's no benefit. If there's that much work, then it's a staffing management issue. Just start letting deadlines pass without running yourself into the ground with 60 hour weeks. My workload is less than 10 hours a week. I've asked for more but it's apparently no one's responsibility to assign me work or help me advance, so I stopped. I work from home as much as I can, and drive into the office when I have to so I don't raise suspicion. At this point I'm just avoiding drawing attention to myself. I hate my job, the politics of the company and a lot of the bullshit people I have to work with, but the pay bin eyes are great and I have a lot of flexibility that I wouldn't otherwise have. I am salary but am required to work exactly 40. No more, no less. Defense contractor working for the gov. More than 40 and you are losing money. No what and you are losing money. My work output requirements are decided weekly and my boss is cool. My two WFH days each week are basically just being on call. I'm salaried and work 55 hours per week and get shit for not doing more. Yeah. I'm salaried at 27.5 hours. Get paid that no matter what I work under and compensated for everything over. I've got to be honest it depends on the week, but yes. The more you get paid the less hard you have to work in my experience. I'd say I average around 40. There are definitely weeks at 30, but also weeks at 50 to 60. Realistically I probably only work about 4 hours a day because my work is so damn disorganized. The key is to make them think you're doing a great job. I have a full time job with 33 hours a week because of the union. So cool to work less than 40 hours. It depends I typically do 30 to 40, 
sometimes an occasional overage sometimes an occasional underage, but I have never been like giving over 40 a week, and I think people who do are idiots. Ha 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 ja ha ha. No. 37.5 as salaried but I'm Australian so probably doesn't count in your freedom poll. I'm 27. Salaried low 100k with another 20-30k in bonuses depending on performance. I work around 25-30 hours a week with a couple WFH days a week. Job's not perfect and some things are frustrating but I've turned down much higher offers because 40-70 hours week at a competitor isn't worth it. Check out the accounting sub and the big difference between the accountants that work in public accounting versus the accountants that work in industry. I work 40 hours a week, sometimes less, and maybe one week a year I worked more than that. I did at my last job. I worked 36 hours in a week three weeks ago, but that's because the Friday was a public holiday so I only had to work like an hour on that day. I work 30 hours over 4 days but I had to justify why I wanted to do and earn 20 less. It should be the baseline not an exception. I work for a state funded university. My hours are always less than 38 hours a week. I usually work around 35, sometimes as little as 30 when things get slow. I'm salaried now and sometimes I have lots of free time and works less and sometimes I have to work hard and long. It just depends. Hourly work can be total BS. I used to work for the cesspool WF. I would do X amount of production in 45 hours. The lady next to me did the same work in 60 hours. She therefore made way more money than me doing the same thing. I'm salaried, and some days the only work I do is the morning meeting if they have absolutely nothing for me. I don't feel the need to go out of my way to make work. Either you have something for me, or you don't. Yup, when things are good at work I'm really working 10-15 hours a week. I keep the wheels on the bus and provide reporting to my leaders. The key is that I'm available more like 50-60 hours a week should I anyone need something ASAP. I work from home though, so that downtime is a little easier to fill. On the flip side, things can go sideways and I'm working 60 hours to try and resolve issue. That's getting more and more air as my projects get more mature, thankfully. Oh yeah, well I guess if you count being available as working then I work 40-ish hours a week but I take my breaks and help out with my daughter on days she is home from school. I WFH and don't have a ton of meetings so my schedule is very flexible, my boss also only cares that my work is done and there's no making sure I'm at the computer or not idle. TPM, schedule varies, but I'm available 733.30 with with EU in AP a lot. If I want to go to Sam's Club or Costco in the middle of the day, I just do. As long as my stuff gets done it doesn't matter if I work 2 hours or 12 hours a day. Nice try, boss. I do everything asked of me and it takes less than 10 hours most weeks. I definitely work way less than 40 hours a week but I always have my phone on me to respond to emails texts calls even if I'm not sitting at my computer. Yes, I have. It's boring and dull to hang out by a computer in case something needs your attention. Have worked over 60 hours WK in the same position fixing others' mistakes. Depends on where in the project you are and how well the project was planned. I'm on salary. My work hours are 8-5 meters F. At least a couple days a week I'm home by 3-4 pm and done for the day. Get my work list for the day and once I'm complete I go home. Lowest stress job I've ever had. I'm an insurance adjuster and depending on the daily itinerary and drive time I spend more time driving than actually working. I probably work like 24 hours a week at my $150,000 salary job. Then I have a part-time job when I work like 3 hours per day at night. Both are remote. My PT gig pays $75 an hour. Life is good. FYI. I do not intermingle the two jobs. The first is Eastern Time Zone 8-4. Second is 2-5 Pacific Time Zone.